Remember when you could bolt across the room and snatch the lamp before your child pulled it off the table? Right now, you're just having trouble lifting your legs to walk and you hate seeing the varicose and bulging veins. Many people think it's just a muscular or cosmetic issue. Instead, the problem lies beneath. Dr. Rajiv Argarwal with Modern Heart and Vascular Institute says whether it's the impact of having children or just aging, there's a modern, quick and comfortable way to treat venous insufficiency and there's no downtime. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. All right, the body has about 60,000 miles of blood vessels. Um, it's sometimes not a matter of if, but when something takes a turn. And when we have some circulation issues, our body starts to notice. Yeah, that's right. Uh, lots and lots and lots of people have lots of uh, uh, leg issues and they just ignore, especially our moms. They spend so much time taking care of us and uh, they ignore themselves. Uh, they, they have lots of symptoms in their legs that can be cured forever, Deborah. Yeah, and the point I made earlier, the problem is a lot of times we either think, okay, that's just aging, that's just life, or we think it's about our muscles or it's just cosmetic and it's not. All right, when you have arteries and poor circulation, what is what are the symptoms of that? So arteries take blood from the heart and take it to our toes and then the veins bring it back. The symptoms with arteries typically happen with exertion. So if you get any tiredness in your legs, if you get any fatigue or uh, cramping, but with walking. So that's the distinction. If it's with exertion, it's arterial. Whereas venous disease tends to happen more at rest. So people, if they have symptoms at night, we see so many patients, Deborah, that say, oh my God, I don't sleep well, Dr. Agarwal. My legs bother me. My legs ache. I get cramps, Charlie horses, restless legs. There are little things that can be done nowadays to make all of those symptoms go away, Deborah. What are some of the risk factors for both arterial disease and venous disease? We mentioned pregnancy uh, being one of them. Yeah, for arterial disease, uh, it's it's more of the traditional risk factors like smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, family history, and we'll throw in COVID as well. Whereas with venous disease, it's the pregnancies, the uh, weight gains, the not moving around very much, uh, just uh, like teachers or flight attendants, store clerks, secretaries that are sitting or standing for prolonged periods of time and gravity is pushing the blood down and not allowing it to come back up. So it's a sedentary lifestyle uh, that plays a big role into it. Yeah, diagnosis is important. That can be quick and easy with you all. And then once you have the diagnosis, you can see where someone is. There are different ways to address the issue, but one of the uh, treatments you have is called Venaseal. Yeah, Venaseal is a, uh, number one, it's a non-invasive, simple treatment. It takes minute or two to do and basically what you're doing is you're injecting medical grade glue into the veins in a painless way and what you're doing is you're closing off that vein so the blood is returning through many other good veins especially the deep system because the symptoms are there because of the damaged veins in the superficial system close to the skin so you shut down those veins with glue now the blood is returning through the good veins and your symptoms are, voila, gone. Yeah. It's really a cool, neat process. And people just get up and, and walk out. You know, back in the olden days, they did things called vein stripping. So a lot of people hesitate uh, when they saw their parents or grandparents go through this, hesitate going in. That is not what you're doing today. No, 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 no. This is non-surgical. The stripping, they would actually make an incision and remove the vein. We leave the vein in there and their symptoms are... Their quality of life, their whole overall, uh, just just their wellness is just so different. I, you know, a patient I saw on Friday, she came back and said, for the first time in her life, she's back to dancing. She had not danced for years, Aww. and that's her life. Yeah. Uh, and now she's dancing around all day long. All right. Another thing you all address is restless leg syndrome. Yes, ma'am. A lot of people are misdiagnosed. They think that they have neuropathy or arthritis, and really what they have is uh, circulation problems. Restless leg syndrome, symptoms at night mainly, and they feel like their legs are moving, so their sheets are moving, or their spouse may say, oh, you toss and turn too much. And, and these symptoms are because of circulation a lot of times, and a simple physical exam, a simple ultrasound in the office will diagnose that, and we can make it go away for the most part. All right, your procedures work so well. You did it on your own mother who is now dancing around as well. Dr. Argerwal, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> to book an appointment with a board-certified cardiologist at Modern Heart and Vascular Institute, visit them online at modernheartandvascular.com. You can call them at this number. It's 
642-644-8930. Again, that's 832 832- 644-8930. They accept most major insurances, including Medicare. Appointments fill up fast, so contact them today. By the way, they have doctors who are fluent in Spanish as well. Modern Heart is also seeing patients in two new locations, in Tomball and in the Texas Medical Center with free parking.